I'm going to show you on myself, but you can do this really easily on somebody else. Um, if you're working on children, no lotions and potions because they're going to end up putting their fingers in their mouth. You don't need it anyway. But if you're doing this at home, you can use plain old fashioned corn flour, which is super soft and super silky on the hands. You don't need much of it at all. Or you can use any lotions or potions that you've got lying around that you know you're not allergic to. In my clinic, I tend to use the Neil's Yard um, Be Lovely All Over Balm. You don't need much of this and you probably won't need much of your hand lotion either. And we start off by just giving our hands a little massage. Um, the posh word for it is an effleurage. Now, if you're doing this on somebody else, then obviously you need to massage their hands. And what I would suggest is if you are doing this on someone else, what you could do is do one hand at a time. And while you're not using the other hand, you keep it wrapped up in a towel. So it's just kept nice and warm, but that's just a little extra special touch. Okay, so I'm gonna show you on one hand, but obviously you'll need to make the moves on both hands and I'll tell you when to when a good time is to cross over to the other hand. So we're gonna start off after we've um, effleuraged, we are going to be working on our head, which we know is in our thumbs. And the first thing we're gonna do is just walk up and down it, okay? So both sides, I'd repeat that set of three, three times, and on the back, so on the palm, sorry. Again, walk up and down it, oh, can't really see there. Three times, so three sets of three. Then we're gonna work on our pituitary gland, which if you look where the whorls of your fingerprint come together to a point, your pituitary gland is roughly there. Sometimes if you look at it from the side, you can actually see the pituitary gland raised um, that can often happen if you're very tired or stressed or just fatigued. And we're just going to work in with some small circles, first one way and then the other. And I'd go for about 30 seconds to a minute on this, depending what you want to. The pressure I tend to use if I'm doing a routine to do with sleep and I'm doing it in the night time or, or prior to bedtime is a much lighter one than I normally would. But you choose the pressure that you want to use. There's no right and wrong. The next one we're going to look at, so sorry, the pituitary gland is kind of the master gland in the body. It basically tells, it releases hormones that tells everything else what hormones to release. So we want to make sure that's nice and balanced. Then we've got our pineal gland and our pineal gland is responsible for releasing melatonin. And melatonin is the hormone that's released when it's um, starting to get dark. It's not released during daylight hours um, or when there's bright light. Um, and that's the one that tells us that we, we need to get tired, we need to, to feel sleepy, we need to get ready for bed. So again, using your finger or your thumb, just work into that pineal gland. If it feels tender, then back off a little bit. You know, any parts of your body that feel tender or a bit poppy, I tend to back off. Um, if it feels right to go in a bit harder, then that's totally up to you. Just do whatever you think is right. So we've worked into our pineal gland and now we're going to work into our neck, which runs from that first joint down to the base of the thumb. And I would walk down there three times. Or you can walk up, doesn't make any difference. And then I'm going to work into my thyroid, which is in this area here. Now your thyroid is really important because it regulates an important hormone that keeps your body warm and your organs functioning normally. <coughs> Excuse me. So again... I would walk one way and then I would walk the other. And I'd repeat that three times. So we've got walking our whole head, we've got our pituitary gland, our pineal gland, our neck and our thyroid. Then we're gonna toothpaste squeeze each of our fingers. Cause in here we've got our neck, uh, sorry, our eyes, our ears, our jaw. So we want to really kind of relax those and get them ready for bed. And what I would suggest is after doing those, you might want to swap over and do it on the other hand. Okay. Then we're going to come to our diaphragm line. Obviously we want to control our breathing. We want to make ourselves more relaxed. And again, three times along the diaphragm line. And then we're going to work the chest area. And you've got two ways of doing this. One, is again to walk up and down. I'm going a lot faster than I would do normally, just so I can show you in a shorter video. And then I would walk the other way. 
The other option is to do what's called the Breath of Apollo, which I love. And that is just to do these big whirls. So whatever feels comfortable. And again, if you feel a bit that feels a bit knotty, a bit more tender, just work into it a little bit more. Okay, so that's your chest. Then your shoulder. So I always refer to this as your scapula, your shoulder blade. And I tend to work into it with circles. And then I tend to walk along the top of the shoulder, dragging my thumb back. So 30 seconds to a minute here. And then I'd repeat this three times. And then finally, I'd come down to our solar plexus and we know where that is because our diaphragm rocking. And you can either do the diaphragm rocking here or you can work into it three times one way, three times the other. Totally up to you. Once you've done that, do the same on the other hand. Then we're gonna to come to the uh, pancreas. Now the pancreas is involved in releasing hormones that help break down um, uh, blood sugars, and, sorry, helps break down foods and regulate your blood sugar. So that's why we're working on this area. Um, and it's here and here. So again, I like to walk into it, but there's no problem at all if you want to use your thumb and just massage into that point. 30 seconds to a minute or you can just do a repetition of three one way and three the other. Then we're gonna come down to your adrenal gland, which is obviously involved in stress, in the stress response and the release of adrenaline and cortisol. So you come down from between the first and second fingers down to where you hit that fatty pad and work into it in a circular motion. And as I said, pressure is totally up to you but I tend to go more gentle of an evening because you're trying to get your body ready for sleep. But if you feel you do need to go in a bit harder, then please do so. So we've done our pancreas and our adrenal glands, and then we're going to swap over to the other side and repeat those moves. So when they're done, what we're going to do is finish off with some more effleurage. So rubbing our hands together. And again, if you're doing this on someone, what I would suggest you do is finish off the adrenal glands and the pancreas on one hand, pancreas and adrenal on the other, and then effleurage each hand. Um, so it makes a nice end to the treatment. And if you want to kind of um, do both hands together to finish, you can. Okay, so a very simple routine. Head, pituitary, pineal gland, neck, thyroid, each of the fingers, because we've got eyes, ears, jaws, everything in there, diaphragm line, chest, shoulder along here, solar plexus, pancreas, adrenal gland, finish off with effleurage. Hope that was useful. Please just contact me if you've got any questions that you want to ask. You can either email me, you can ring me, you can direct message me, you can private message me. Um, I really hope that everyone's okay. I hope you find this routine useful. Um, look after yourselves and I'll speak to you next week.